Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Software Project of the Week. I'm going to tell you, I was reading the blogs, and the first blog that caught my eye was Kay's blog on variegated thread. If you have missed this blog, please go into the past blogs and read it. You'll love it. And then this week, Marilyn, or today I noticed Marilyn had up about the fling tool. Well, between the two, I got a great idea, and I'm so excited to share it with you. We're first going to use a design, a free November design that we gave you, so let's get our design. The first thing we have to do is come to our library. Now here are my free monthly designs. I'm going to come down to November, and I want November 2014. Now with the folder I want to look at highlighted, I'm going to just hover over my designs. And as you can see, I can look at the designs nice size that are in my folder. Now I'm going to grab the tree. Of course, we could grab any of them, but I want the tree right now. And I'm going to let it go on screen. Now I want to work with the fling tool, but I want to use a portion of this design to fling. So what I'm going to do is select all items in my sequence view. Your sequence view is right here at the bottom right hand corner. So I'm going to left mouse click on all items to select everything. And I'm going to need to ungroup this. When we bring things in from the library, they come in as one object. And that makes it so we can drag it around without losing pieces, which is very convenient. But if we want to work with individual parts of it, we need to tell it, let go, you're no longer a group. So I'm coming up here to my ungroup, and I'm going to left mouse click on it. So now you notice the ungroup is not available. I could group it if I wished, but you can see the icons right here. And if you hover, it's going to tell you if you forget what they are. Now with this ungrouped, I'm going to come into all items here in my sequence view, and I'm going to click the little plus. Now what I'm looking for, and I'm just going to highlight this first run, and I'm just going to use my arrow keys and arrow down. I'm looking for a portion of this design, some little piece that I can fling around in the background. Perfect. You see this curly cue right here that I've got selected? That looks perfect for what I want. So with it selected, I'm going to right mouse click on it, and I'm going to copy. Now I'm going to open a new piece of paper. Let's right mouse click and paste. Now I have the object I want to fling around. Now our new, brand new fling tool is right here. This tool is so much fun because you can create a background, a, quil a quilting pattern, create your own fabric, lots of fun with this tool. So I am going to left mouse click on it and my options come up. Now the first thing is I'm going to do a tea towel. Towels are excellent holiday gifts. Everybody loves them. They use them all year. You can't go wrong with a nice tea towel. So I'm going to change the area that it's going to fling in to my 130 by 180 hoop, which happens to be my 5 by 7. Now if I apply, you will notice that this kind of goes into the shape of that 5 by 7 frame. But let's say you were doing a quilt border. I could change it to whatever length I needed. Let's change it to a thousand millimeters, which I think is about 36 inches, and let's apply that. Now think, or 38 inches. Look at how cute. You could take a simple little run stitch design and create a whole border. <coughs> Excuse me, I've had the flu this week. We're going to go back to our 180. Apply. Remember, if you don't apply, it doesn't happen. Now, our next design properties says, the smallest I want you to make it is 80% of its original size. The largest I want you to make one of these icons is 140% of its maximum 
it's, of its original size. That's the maximum. Now you could change these numbers. I could say make this 70, make this 130. Let's just change some numbers here. And don't forget to apply. I can change the amount of spacing in between them. Right now there's 10 millimeters between each of these. I could make it more or less. So you are in complete control of how you fling. Now auto rotate means it's going to rotate at random. And color sort is if I had a design that was more than one color, it would go ahead and stitch all the reds first, all the blues. Now if I don't like the pattern, watch this, I'll hit apply again and it's going to fling it in different ways until I get what I like. I like that fling. Okay, now that I'm happy, I'm going to say OK. And as you can see, I have flung this all over. Now, it didn't fling it in a, in a logical sequence manner. So with this selected, we're going to come up here to our sequence icon. Now what this is going to do is it's going to say stitch in the most logical order. Now I'm going to left mouse click on that and you notice now it's going to start and stitch in a logical fashion instead of at random. Now with this in here I want to add my design. So I'm coming back over to my designs and I'm going to grab the Christmas tree again. Holding down my left mouse key, I'm just going to drag it onto screen. Oops. Drag you onto screen here. Well, if I can select it, I'm going to grab it onto screen. There we go. There we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put up my hoop around it so I can see the hoop. Right here on your left hand toolbar, on your left hand toolbar, you're going to see your hoop. So there's my 5x7 frame. So I'm going to go ahead and move the tree so I can see how I look. Good. Now there's a couple of things I'm not real thrilled with, and that's that I've got some flings underneath my tree. I wanted to fling around, but not necessarily under. Well, let's see what we can do. Let's go up to the start of our flinging right here and select it. That one looks okay. That one's underneath. I'm just hitting my down arrow, so I'm going to delete that one. Okay, so we've deleted one. Let's keep moving. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to keep moving down. Let's go to the next one. I'm going to delete that one. Let's keep going down. Oh, those are fine, fine, fine. I like all of those. Don't like that one. Let's keep going down. Oops, let's back up one. Oops. Go back to this one. Let's see. Come here, guy. That guy's good. Good. And it's just if it doesn't look good to you, you would want to go ahead and remove anything that didn't look good. Now, I missed one somewhere here, so I'm going to come back up. Let's go through this process again. That guy's fine. That's the guy I missed. There we go. Now, I think that looks good. If you saw any underneath that you didn't like or thought messed with your design, you just delete them. Find them in your sequence view and delete them. Now, with this done, I'm going to stitch this out in the variegated thread. And it's going to be a beautiful gift. Now, you've got an open place in here. You can put a name, you could put a monogram, you could write Merry Christmas, ho, ho, ho. You've got lots of fun, and I hope you enjoyed this week's software lesson. Enjoy your fling tool, use your sequence view, and enjoy. Thanks a lot. We'll look forward to seeing you next week when we're going to look at creating an ornament for the tree.